See anything interesting? We'd better. You know, Davies is going to grill us with questions, so let's comb through everything. Hey, buddy. How's it going? The Erica herself. I'm trying to finish quickly so I can go get some freaking sleep. I'm a tech geek. I shouldn't be doing all this crap. Where's your team? Uh, there's a lot of shit hitting the department right now, so we're low on manpower. How's it hanging, McCoy? Weird to see the FBI all over this. I don't make the rules, pal. Have you gotten any prints? <sighs> Nothing. It's super clean. This person knew what they were doing. Been searching around, but I can't even find a partial. How can the guy who did this struggle so much and not leave any traces behind? The guy knows his shit. Any luck identifying our John Doe? Nope. Nothing in the database? Uh, I wish it was that simple. Didn't you look at the body? What about it? Oh, get this. The problem is not that the guy isn't in the database. The problem is that the killer cut the skin off the fingers of our John Doe. All I've been able to find is just blood markings everywhere. Thank you, asshole, for making my life easier. DNA? I'll have to take a look at that tomorrow. So any theories on how the guy was hanged? There are a few marks on the body. They aren't from a struggle with a killer, per se, but my theory is that whoever did this had a hell of a time stringing that big guy up. Drag marks? Exactly. It wasn't easy getting him up there. So we're looking at someone smaller than the victim. Probably an average build? Yeah, that sounds about right. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Poor bastard. Mm, brutal. Suicide? Agent, if it was suicide, I wouldn't be here at 2.30 in the morning. Some people don't have any sense of humor around here. I left it in my bed when I got Davies' call. Did the killer use this table to hang the guy? Maybe they used it for leverage. Gallagher? Reed. What do we have here? White male, mid-40s, cause of death, strangulation. So he was definitely killed by the hanging? No doubt about that. He suffered a very agonizing death. The cerebral hypoxia was as slow as it could have been. English? Deprivation of oxygen to the brain. Any signs of struggle? Not exactly, but there are marks on the body. Bowlby can fill you in on his theories. Any idea how someone got him up there without struggling? I can't say for sure without running an autopsy. Look at the spots in the shirt. Most likely saliva. In victims of hanging, the tongue protrudes by the pressure on the jaw, causing it to dry. My best guess is that the saliva was then caused by some kind of a drug used prior to the suffocation. The killer must not have been strong enough to do this without drugging the victim. John Doe here is very well built. I couldn't take him. Are you kids done theorizing? I'd like to get back to my work. A very slow death, you say? I believe he was not dropped, but rather raised with the rope. Add to that the height of this table, just tall enough for the victim to reach it with his toes from time to time, allowing for the compression of the trachea to stop every once in a while. What about loss of consciousness? The weight of the body causes the compression of the airway, arteries, and jugular veins. If done correctly, the victim should pass out in a matter of seconds. But in this case, you can see how his brain expanded. Look at the veins in his forehead. He stayed conscious for at least 30 to 45 minutes, maybe more. <laughs> Whoever did this must have really hated the guy. He also defecated. It's another sign of prolonged cases of suffocation. So that's the smell. And Davies pinned it on my sandwich. <laughs> Lovely as ever, John. What else can you tell us? I'm trying to finish my work, if you don't mind. Stop by the morgue tomorrow and we can talk more. 
and bring something to keep Bowlby entertained and stop him from coming down to interrupt me when I'm working. Hey, I heard that. Good. When did they move forensics? They just moved him into our building this week. Temporarily, they said. Thankfully, it's only him. I'd go crazy if they brought the whole forensics freak show. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Excuse me now. I'd like to finish this so I can get back home to my cats. I'll bug you again if I need more info. Try to be quick. Is this from the victim? It seems to be from their fingertips. The painting looks fresh. Hey, Gareth. Hello, Agent Reed. Davies. Not now, Reed. Go do your job. get a grasp on it lately. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Since Scott died, it's slowly gotten worse and worse. Are you all right? I'll manage. Hey, John, any idea what this is? No clue. Ask Terrence. Hey, Terrence. Yo, E. Do you know what this is? It was under the shelf. <laughs> no freaking clue. Looks old. Is it evidence? Are you confiscating it if I say it is? Maybe. Does it have any prints? Ah, screw it. Keep it. But bring it to me tomorrow. Oh, and keep it clean. You said it looks old? Yeah. I've seen something similar. Ask me another day. When there's coffee. Terrence! Really, I, I, I don't know. Do whatever you have to do with it and bring it back. Terrence, did you notice that wall over there? The paint looks fresh. Yeah, I saw that. I'll have to call someone to come here tomorrow and take a closer look. 
I seriously don't have time for all this work. Have you talked to Davies about the lack of resources? <laughs> she knows this is BS. I heard that. Uh, uh, all good, boss. I, I got it. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Reed? McCoy? Oh, joy. Come talk to me when you're done asking around. We better make sure we know our facts before talking to Davies. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? Now, what have you found? How did the victim die? Suffocation. Who is our John Doe? We can't identify the victim yet because the victim's fingertips have been skinned. Any leads on the killer? The killer struggled with the hanging of the victim, which leads us to believe that the killer is smaller and skinnier than the victim. That's it? That's it. I may point out, however, that Terence is being overworked, so he's not exactly at the top of his game. When I have questions about how to run my branch, I'll ask you. Anything to add, McCoy? No. Wonderful. Not only are you too late, you're also worthless. Go get some sleep and get your asses to work tomorrow early. I want to see you in my office as soon as you're in, Reed. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Why are we taking this case? Tomorrow. Now get out of here. Erica. Sir? How are you holding up? I'll be fine. Good. Get some rest. I have a bad feeling about this one. You called? Erica, I know how much you care about what happened to Scott, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you off the case. Don't do this to me, Davies. I have to. It's been three years. This is bullshit! I'm so close to getting somewhere! No, Erica, you're not. I've seen your reports. You're going in circles. Did my dad put you up to this? Brian's worried about you. Listen, I understand how much this means to you, but it has to stop. I put my job on the line, letting you take on a case in which you're so personally involved. And I did it out of respect for your dad. But it's time to move on, Erica. Even your dad agrees. I can't. You have to, Erica. I'm afraid that's an order. Ugh. Are you all right? I just need a minute. Ugh. What is? <sighs> My visions. I told you to go see someone about that. Shh, they'll hear you. Do you still have that card I gave you? Yes, John, I do. But the whole hocus pocus thing, it's not me. Listen, Rose runs an antique shop. That thing you found, Terrence says it was an antique. So go ask her about it, and while you're there, maybe bring up these visions of yours. What can it hurt? If that will shut you up, fine. I'll go tomorrow. Go now. She's a night owl. Closed in the mornings, open all night. Great. 
That sounds perfectly normal. Go on, I'll hit your ride to the office. Hello, my dear. I could feel the spirits were active tonight. I knew someone would appear. Yeah, that'd be me. So, does the shop have the identity problem, or is it you? Very observant. What's a pretty girl like yourself doing out at the witching hour? Special Agent Reed, I'm here to ask you some questions about an antique. My favorite subject, Agent. And you can call me Rose, my dear. So, you sell antiques? You do not just sell antiques, my dear. I like to see it as a way to preserve these beauties through the generations. But yes, this is an antique shop, among other things. Like what? Reading a crystal ball? If a customer wants to talk to their dear departed mother or father, I am happy to help. Right. Do you read the tarot, too? <laughs> I make an honest living agent. Nothing wrong with that. Other than extorting people's hard on money, no. I give people what they want. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Right, my dear? I wanted to ask you about this. Ah, that is strange. What is? This is only a piece of the toy. Ah, yes, it is a Le Pondu, or at least very similar to one. Precious things. Ah, beautiful. A uh, what? Le Pondu. It was a line of toys that had their roots in the French Revolution. It is said that those in high society used them at secret parties. Mysterious, do you not think? And some say they used these toys to scare their children into understanding what justice could do to them if they did not follow the rules. Horrible, is it not? So why would a toy like that appear in a crime scene last night? That is your job, my dear. What else can you tell me about it? The artifact is indeed old, but it has been modified. The wood is very old, and so is the varnish, but the cuts are new. Is this the only piece you found? Yes. So there are more? Well, yes. And I would say these cuts were made to fit into some other piece. Do you carry these? There is one right there. Could this have come from this shop? I have not sold one in a while. But they are not as uncommon as you may think. Do you know of any other shops that may sell them? Toy shops, other antique stores. I bet they show up in those online auctions too. As I said, they are not all that uncommon. I am sorry, my dear. Thanks for the help. Any time, my dear. Now, tell me the real reason why you are here. Something's been happening to me. A friend suggested I talk to you about it. Go on. I am listening. I keep having... Visions? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not exactly comfortable. Listen, my dear, you can tell Rose whatever is happening to you. These old bones have seen it all and heard it all. How do you know? Did John McCoy call you? Jean McCoy? Where do I know that name from? Ah, yes. Jean. Another FBI agent. More easygoing. He 
he came here a few years back. Poor soul, he was utterly lost. He loved my coffee, and we used to sit at that table over there, talking for hours. I would guess you are the girl he told me about. I wish he'd let me deal with this on my own. Sometimes we do need a push, my dear. And here you are, taking the right steps. When did they start? The visions. I will tell you what. Go and sleep on it. Visit your brother tomorrow. Wait, how do you know? Sleep on it. And if you are ready tomorrow, come back here and I will show you a few things. All right? We'll see. I could stay up driving all night. I could use the time to think, but I'd better get some sleep tonight. I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a long day. Ready to go. I should see what Davies wanted. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Erica! Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only until we get out of this mess. Cutbacks and all. Wish this came with the raise, but what can you do? Anyways, if you have any requests, I can get it for you. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Let's see what's new today. Hey, Erica. Sully? Davies told me that she had to leave as soon as she got here, to let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, she was mostly talking to herself. You know how she does that. She had a similar piece or something. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head right now. Can we talk later? Sure. You want to grab lunch later? Um, not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a case. By the way, you left your jacket at my place the other night. Uh, I can bring it by, or maybe you could... Yeah, bring it by. Sure, no problem. I have to get into Davy's office somehow. I can connect to the FBI database through my computer. Reed, had to head out to take care of some business. I expected you to be here earlier. <laughs> I have important information related to the case in my office. We'll talk when I get back, Davies. What does she have in her office? Hey, babe. We haven't spent time together in a while. Was wondering if you'd like to rent a movie and watch it at my place this weekend. Sully. Sully... How many times do I have to tell you not to call me babe? Cool. 
I could use a couple hours away from all this. Figures. Dad avoids visiting Scott. Maybe that's why he decided to bury him there, so that he could be as far away from his memory as possible. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. I don't have any evidence to look at right now. locked. I'm going to have to get creative if I want to get in there. I'd rather not unless there's a reason. The less we talk right now, the better. Good morning, John. <laughs> What's so good about it? <laughs> you are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. Bring me some donuts if you want to help. Will a bag of chips from the vending machine do? Get out of here. Has Sully said anything about me? Look, I'm not good at this lovey-dovey shit, but we were at Joey's the other night, throwing him back, and the kid opened up. He's confused. Well, I don't blame him. I have fun when I'm with him. It's just, I feel like I'm cheating. You mean because of... You know... It's one thing when you touch a body and find details that help on a crime scene. But when someone holds your hand and you see him looking at penthouse magazines and... Don't all guys do that? It's not that. I feel intrusive. If I find things that I don't like later, too bad. But I want to get there at my own pace. <laughs> I don't want to know his parents before I even have the chance to feel it's going too fast when he asks me to meet him. Man, I don't know what it'd be of me if every time I kissed my ex-wife I saw my mother-in-law. <laughs> and that's on a good day. Have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. Well, stop being so good at it. You keep a copy of Davy's office keys, no? Why? Well, Sully said something to me that has me thinking. Something about Davy's knowing about the antique. So I figured, since she wasn't here... You just sneak into her office and look around? Oh, come on, John. I don't have time to stand around until she comes back. Even if I didn't think that was a stupid idea, you're out of luck. I lost those keys. And don't tell anyone either. Had any new thoughts on the hanging last night? You see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes. And it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said. But there's no donuts today. So I can't even have that small comfort. So I went to see that woman, Rose. And? Uh, I don't know. You know I hate that spooky shit. She seemed to know something. 
You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. Well, I guess I should get back to the case now. How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Red, my mama always said, if it's meant to be... It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? Not that I haven't caught the killer, or that Davies closed the case, but the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? Look, in any case, stop the whining and go do some work. You are better than that. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Isn't it cozy here? The Erica! No McCoy today? Nope. All by myself. Ah, good. I can talk you up some romance then. Terrence, you're my one true love. Any luck identifying a guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim. Nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <sighs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. I need lockpicks. I'll need to see you... Put your thumb on your nose, waggle your fingers, and pat your tummy first. What? If you're gonna ask for lockpicks, you really need to learn the thief sign, Biggie. What do I look like? The flea market? You're way better than a flea market. True that. Here, state of the art. Best line of lockpicks we have. Go and violate some human rights for me. I found something on that antique piece from last night. <laughs> Spill the beans. Apparently, it's a creepy toy from the 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around? No. It was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. See you later. Alligator! Agent Reed. Gallagher? How 
How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. I'll have more info on it later. Is there anything you can tell me about it? It was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. Whatever contusions there are must have been caused by the friction of the skin with other materials, like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. You are certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst. But the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with a lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent Reed. I know how to do my job. We set a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's going to take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. How's life treating you, Gallagher? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. It doesn't feel... Agent Reed... I'm sorry. There's something not quite right here. Could it be a bone or something else? I should take a picture of him. That should do. Anything else I should take a picture of? Do you mind? Go ahead. Hello, Dr. Gallagher. Agent Reed. Have you checked this on the body already? I saw it, but I haven't opened it up yet. Will you? As you wish. Well, now that's unusual. What the hell? That looks like a piece of the antique I found at the scene. Seems somebody left you a clue. I think I'd best hand this over to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. Make sure that good-for-nothing bull...
need that right now. The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. Those two don't work together. Got it. Buddy? Yo! So this antique has apparently been broken into many different pieces. Didn't Davy send you something like this today? Yeah, I haven't ch- Oh, you mean the email she sent me this morning. <laughs> yeah, she mentioned something. Man, where's my head? Can I see it? I don't know. Davies will kill me. Come on, Terrence. This is important. <laughs> Tell you what, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. <laughs> what am I good for? Oh, it's just that... Gallagher's being a real pain in the butt about my equipment. I can't store it with hers because she doesn't want to. But then I have no other place to put it. And you want me to talk to Gallagher and see what I can do? You got it. See you later. Alligator. No one's looking this way. I'm an ace at picking locks. Davies will be wicked pissed at me when she finds out I broke in, but whatever. I got a case to solve. Information on some of our latest cases. Davies left the top off. Was she trying to get something from here? <laughs> That's Davies' favorite mug. She's always carrying it around. Especially when she interrogates people. She named it Phoebe. Davy's promotions. I liked her more when she was one of us. We don't always see eye to eye on things, but she's still a good friend of the family. Davy's always liked that picture. She told me she pictures herself in that lighthouse every time she needs some time off from all the crazy shit we see. Ugh, oh, crap. She's gonna skin me alive. Damn, what's the password?
Say goodbye to your badge, Erica. That's from Davy's niece. <laughs> How cute. Davies loves that child to pieces. What's this? Another one will be hanged tonight. What did the rest of this say? Password. All right, what do we have here? Interesting. Why did she keep this message? She deletes everything else. Terence, I sent you a piece of the antique that was sent to my office. If Reed comes by with the piece you say she found, make sure you get it from her. Call me right after. Aha! So she has another piece of this antique. Gotta go chat Terrence up. Looks like I'm going for a new record on how many laws I can break today. Gallagher. I heard from Bulby that he's having problems with storing his equipment over there. Let him do what he needs. I need you to cooperate while the transition takes place. Davies. <laughs> Hope that sounds Davies enough. And sent. And delete. I'm not only walking into the lion's den here, I'm dancing the lombada with the freaking thing. Erica, <laughs> what did you do? What do you mean? Gallagher just came here all crazy and shit a second ago saying how there's no respect for her department. Now she can't wait to see the day when I'm finally out of here. <sighs> then she said I could store my stuff with her equipment. <laughs> crazy, huh? Well, I have my ways. Where's that antique piece you promised? Here you go. Thank you. See you later. Alligator. Those two don't work together. I wonder how these go together. There we go. Now what? to bring flowers. A 
Dad decided we should bury Scott in the same place he died, instead of where Mom is buried. I never asked him why, but I didn't want to deny him anything. He was so broken. This is terrible, but no one will miss it, I hope. Hey, Scotty. How are you, baby bro? I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, look at this place. It's a mess. Freaking leaves are everywhere. I wish I could say I have a great lead on your case, but Davies closed it. And there's nothing I can do about it. And this thing that I've got is still out of control. Well, how are you? How are things on the other side? <laughs> I'll come more often and I'll bring Dad next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. Excuse me. Yes? I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... Uh, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Yeah. I'm wicked sorry. I'm Erica. And you are... Cordelia. I'm so embarrassed, Cordelia. I'll pay for a wreath. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. It was just funny. You were so natural at it. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, yes, well, I'm known for that. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll be over there. Hey there. Hi, Erica. You look familiar to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I hang around here a lot. Sometimes I even sneak in at night. <laughs> really? Wow. That's... dedication. I take care of the family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him. Or talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yes, yeah, Scotty. I don't come here as often as I would like, though. But I must have seen you here before. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Has it gotten better? A little. It's not so much the years that pass, but that you learn to accept it. And that's always the hardest part. Scotty was murdered. I'll only rest when I put whoever killed him behind bars. Are you a cop? FBI. And yeah, that's what makes it even harder to accept. to go now. Well, hey, you seem all right. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. <laughs> I've never been asked to hang out in a cemetery before. Uh, maybe in high school. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. We can be close to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Hey, Erica, you dropped this. Rose? You know her? Yes. She took a lot of the pain away. Are you seeing her? I'm trying to figure out if I want to. You should. She's really something special. Hmm. Thanks.
There you are, my dear. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah, here I am. Hey, Rose. Yes, my dear? I've had the time to think about last night. About this thing of mine. Your vision, Junie. <laughs> How do you know about that? Many of my customers ask the same questions. You do not believe in the crystal ball. Neither do some of them. Sometimes we mock what most haunts us. All right, I'm getting tired of this runaround. If you want me to be up front with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Very well. What do you want to know? What do you know about this stuff? You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are. I wanted to know it all, the very last detail of everything. And sometimes I asked more than maybe I should have. But I don't regret my life or the places it took me. This store here is living proof of where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some people call a scion. A what? A scion. Listen, I'm telling you what you want to know. But in return, I'm going to have to ask you to let go a wee bit. To hear the stories. To let me help. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. Until a few days ago, I seemed to have some control of it. But now, it's just, it's very painful now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself, things that haven't happened to me. Hmm. Is that bad? No. But I wonder, why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you are evolving. What? If you can see the past in ways no one else can, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? That would be amazing. Has something happened to you recently? Something upsetting? My boss closed a case that I wasn't ready to close. Let us put this vision of yourself aside for now. Let us focus on your ability to see the past. Are you ready for some training with Mama Rose? I feel really uncomfortable talking about my visions. You have been using them, have you not? I have, but... So what is the big deal? This is something that you have. Embrace it fully, because it is a part of you, and it will not go away. I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I... I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat trick. I like to call this projection. With it, you will be able to extract the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Places have memories? There's energy everywhere, my dear. When you learn how to tap onto it, well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but what the heck? It'll be more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him a very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. So you want me to go get something personal from him? Something he would have carried three years ago. Won't this be fun? Yes, my dear. <laughs> it 
So, why did you decide to open an antique shop? I'm good at finding the rare and the strange. That certainly makes me feel better. The things in this shop are wonderful trinkets, full of mysticism and meaning. If you like something, you just have to ask. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. <laughs> 